But you know, this anointing is what I am calling down upon the Lord for you particularly. Especially this morning. Why? Because it is the kind that breaks bondages. And many of us are completely bound by our family, by our tribe. Me, I'm in a loop. You people, you know very well, you come from a tribe. Praise the Lord, you do. But if you are bound by your tribe, then you are lost and doomed for eternity. A believer belongs to the tribe of Jesus first. And then your ordinary biological tribe follows next. You belong to a new citizenship. Because God, who put you in that tribe, understood what he was doing. That is your identity. And you cannot deny your identity in favor of something else. God is wise. Walk in his wisdom. Now you belong to that tribe. You belong to that family. Some of your families are very well to do. Some of you never knew what it means to go to Pitla Twins until perhaps you came to Kampala and rented a house with the Pitla Twins. You came from a flush toilet setting and that is your background. But some of us never knew <laughs> flush toilets until we are already past 40. Then we begin to learn how to flush these things. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Do I choose my parents? No, I don't. Do I choose my tribe? No, I do not. Who chooses it for me? The Lord God Almighty. Many of us are bound by relatives, like these relatives are handing over Samson, and many of us relatives have handed us over to the enemy. How? Do you know that the way they name some of us? They name you a name which is negative. You don't even know when they made it for you, but you carry the rest of your life. And many of us, many of us carry names with negative meaning which affects our destiny. My eldest sister is called Amondito in Alur. If you don't know it, I'll explain it in, a, in, a, in English. Amondito simply means I'm entered in death. Oh, yeah. My second sister who followed this one is called Arombo Rach, which means I am very unlucky. Oh, yes. Then my third brother who follows this sister is called Jashan, which means the poor guy. Hey. Then I come up. My name is Orombi. Orombi simply means get them all and let them come together. I said, okay. Is that why people follow me? And that's why I'm a human, a human gatherer and people come around me. My, my father gave me that name. And then my brother who follows me, who is alive, is called P. Wang. Now, P. Wang means tears. Oh, yeah. The guy has never ceased to weep tears. And then after him is a brother who is alive. He's called Tolit, which means death is painful. And that brother has lost five children of the, of the seven he has. Now, don't you accept your naming by your family, by your tribe, which carries negative connotation. Now, I do know also that some of us were sacrificed to the spirits of our ancestors. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to thank God for revival. And therefore, you do not know how to praise God, start right this morning. Because God delivered your ancestors from the worship of ancestral spirits long time ago. And therefore, hanging over you is the blessing that has been imparted by those, to those who believe the Lord Jesus Christ. May God deliver you from some of the acquired habits from the family. Some families have moral failures. They just can't walk straight. They don't have integrity in relationship, in finances. They just cannot. And you also are sucked into that moral failure. May you be released today. May whatever money you get, you use for the glory of God. May God deliver you from anything that has passed through their DNA into your system. And now you are carrying a burden which is not even yours. There are some family which just give you anger. It's just an angry family. You even don't know where that anger has come from. And then it also gets into you. And some people here, your anger may be uncontrollable. One was telling me, for me, if I'm angry, I want to kill. Now, that is not a normal anger, by the way. Because the Bible teaches me, be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun set down on your anger, or you give a, 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 an opportunity to the devil to attack you. The Lord should help you to be free from a habit of careless spending. That is also a habit, by the way. The guys who just... 
these supermarkets are deadly. These shopping malls are terrible. When I used to go to America and I'm going to a shopping mall, I say, Lord, will you cover my eyes with the blood of Jesus Christ? That when I walk in those areas, I don't see what I don't want. I only see what I really need. 